Okie dokie, let's uh, get this going. Righty. Righty. Hello, Hello everybody, everybody. Um, and welcome, welcome to our Lucky Generation Zero stream. Hope you, Hope you can hear me, me, see me, and Paul, Paul as well. As well. Um, um, those of you who don't know, I'm Christian Manager, my name's Graham, um, I'm Christian Manager, Generation Zero, and I'm sat next to, hang on, what's the people saying, audio? Oh, audio. What's, what's wrong with the audio? Static, Static on, on sound. sound. Let's uh, try, try this. this. Okay, sorry. We had an extra source was doing some weird stuff. Uh, hopefully that's a bit better for you. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, let's just check with chat that it's going along okay as it should be now. Much better, lovely. Yeah, sorry about that. It decided OBS decided to activate a second source, so we were like creating. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we we're creating portals or something. Um, so yeah, who are you? Hi, uh, I'm Paul, uh, in-game animator for Generation Zero. Uh, I've been here for just over a year now. Um, Swedish lands have accepted me, and uh, it's been nice here. And uh, here at the studio, it's uh, been great. Yeah. Um, and it, this is great, actually, being on here and actually talk a little bit about what our side of what we've been doing. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. This is, this is crazy, but yeah, this is cool. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. And I'll also say you have this classic British style of rocking shorts in the middle of the snow as well. Yes, <laughs> I do, yeah. Um, Although the stream, you'll have to imagine that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting up. But um, no, yeah, uh, I'm I'm pretty classic with uh, the cold. I adapt very well. So yeah, okay. says Paul, you're pretty quiet. Can you put your mic up just right. a little bit in front of your mouth? Okay. Actually, oh, let me assist. So straight like that, right like that. Let's see if that's any better. Any better? Um, yeah, hopefully that's good. Um, so yeah, you're the well, one of the animators on the project. Yes, I am, yeah. Yes, so uh, you're responsible for helping create all these awesome machines. Uh, yeah, well, basically I'm anything that moves, uh, I guess. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah well, yeah, uh, I'm one of uh, many. Mm. Um, right now, the team obviously is uh, now sort of trimmed down, coming up to uh, the release as it was revealed last week. Yes. So, yes. Um, yeah, uh, a few of us have... Uh, sort of taking more of the reins on and uh, looking to the future to hear everyone's feedback and push the game mm. further more to how everybody wants it. So Yeah, I mean, as we mentioned a few times, launch isn't it for us by any means. I mean, we know we have an awesome, lovely product for you to enjoy at launch, but then we're going to continue continuing uh, more and more cool stuff as oh time yeah. goes on. So uh, you'll be busy animating more and more things. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. I, well, it's, it's the some of the stuff... Uh, yeah, I, I honestly can't wait to jump into that But um, yeah, we, we still got loads more for everyone to see coming up on the 26th of March. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I mean, we're gonna show, we're gonna show something uh, that folks haven't seen um, actually towards the end of the stream. Yes. Uh, it's, it's not like, wow, groundbreaking new stuff, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it's it, it's fun. fun, it's fun, um, and fun it's, is good. It's, yeah. it's taken quite a, a bit of time to think about them and uh, sort of get them into game and yeah uh, some of the bits and pieces are something that I, I quite like and cherish because uh, I put a lot of time well, they were very it. personal but we'll get yeah, to that yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> we'll, <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll uh, dive more into that but uh, a few funny stories I guess yeah that was a super tough runner uh, we're in a different kind of area from what you've seen before so things are going to be a little bit more scary it might get messy I might die AC might die. It could all go crazy. Um, Paul's still half quiet. Half quiet. Okay, let's let's try that. That should get a bit better, hopefully. Um, <laughs> and yes, we also have AC, uh, one of our other community managers. She is uh, joining as my sidekick, as ever, rocking her favourite punk style. Uh, I, I love the Mohawk. I always go for the Mohawk. No matter what character it is, always the Mohawk. I always don't know, it's just uh, my side uh, what I like, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. used to rock one. Oh, you go. did? Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. <laughs> the young days. Yeah, well, back, back when I were a lad. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess chat's obviously worked out by now. We're both Brits working for a Swedish video games company. Yeah. But we are in Stockholm, Sweden right now in our office with uh, lots of other Swedes here, which is, of course, why we have this um, you know, kind of very personal setting for the game for a lot of the team. But we're, um, we're some of the... 
more further hires. Yeah, so. the, the outsides. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. But um, I didn't want to say that. We're not yeah, inside. well, well, no, we're, we're, well. we're insiders now. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah well, no, now we are. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, just uh, jumping onto this game once I saw that it was, you know, being staged in uh, Sweden and everything. It's sort of grass as well as moving here. Mm. Uh, very much grass me. Um, so uh, yeah jumping into this over a year ago just seeing what they had at that point was breaking to me so that hooked me in awesome. and i was very happy for them to hook on to me to be part of the team so cool um I, this is always a common question we get when yeah. we have a dev on cool. H- how did you get your way here what's your what's the history of paul when it comes to game development and you know uh, your path here as a game developer and to avalanche in the end okay uh well my path. Yeah, was, I mean, did uh, you study? Did, were you uh, an yeah, enthusiast? Yeah, I, I, uh, I. Oh, I was always an enthusiast. Uh, mm. I, I was forever a big kid, just uh, always into cartoons and everything. Always had you a love. You kind of have to be to be doing this. Yeah, <laughs> you, ca- you kind of have to be a big kid always at heart. Like mm. it's and admit that you are to everyone and totally take it on the chin. Um, yeah, always a big kid. Uh, went to university, done all the things I needed to do. Um, made some awful uh, shorts and everything, like looking back on now. But um, then uh, I moved up to Manchester in the UK. I worked on o- quite a few Lego games. And okay. um, then uh, a position opened up here. And I thought, yes, please. Uh, it would be nice to just get out of the UK. And uh, especially when I came for the interview here, I, I just knew that if i didn't even get the job here i'll be coming here for multiple holidays it was okay, it was some yeah. it was a place that definitely took hold of me and was like yes awesome. so uh and obviously uh the great thing of being actually accepted in so um yeah uh, a year in and still loving it it's great stuff good stuff um so yeah i mean uh we'll, we're going to show some of your work a bit more up close and personal towards the end of the stream. Yeah. But otherwise, I mean, we have, of course, all the animations for the machines had to be done. Yes. Ha- I mean, ha- what's the process for when we actually animate an object? As in, you know, are you given an image and then you just puppet the thing? I mean, let, let <laughs> folks at home are probably quite interested in how, how this is done and uh, maybe give a little peek into a little bit more of the... Well, uh, the machines were actually primarily done by another animator, which quite a few probably had seen on the uh, dev diaries mm. which was uh charlotte yeah. and um she took full reins of pretty much everything to do with the machines and uh from what i know of how she went through them all was uh understanding concept art the idea of everything going through all the de- um the designers and everything and once it was actually modeled and made and went through rigging processes then there would be like a lot of trial and error of possibly how it would move uh how you would like to actually once you walked on to seeing a robot how how would it act just sort of looking around as you know scanning Mm. sort of idling by and everything it's until you know the next stages would be of the processes of um being alert, attacking you and everything. So you go through the very fundamentals of how to build the machines. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's the thing that you don't necessarily realize. The amount of work in something doing nothing is still quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> oh. I mean, idle animations and that kind of thing. So uh, it's, it, it's one of those things where I still get confused with how much has to still even be put into it yeah like you're there thinking oh i've got a handful of animations here let's get in the game and see how it goes and you put it in and go oh my god it's still it absolutely like a book. <laughs> yeah it's absolutely <laughs> doing nothing still mm. so um i know quite a few of these machines went through uh i think a middle average was about 150 to a 200 animations on some of the the bigger ones uh like the tick and uh, the scout obviously had a few less yeah. because of the size and sort of what it was capable of. Mm. But um, yeah, uh, I believe those were the ranges of ma- animations of a minimum. Some of them o- obviously had uh, special, unique ones on top of those. But yeah, uh, every single machine was done from scratch every time. 
Yeah, and, I mean, uh, of course, brutal. these are all machines that we've created from scratch, so you, yeah. you, you can't just copy pasta that kind of stuff, I guess. Yeah, I mean, they, are, they are completely so unique, and we, we fixated on how they were sort of built and how they would actually come alive within the game in general. Like, you have obviously some which are cohesive to uh, animal styles of movement as well as somewhere like how I like to think of the tank is just a big brute of a guy sort of walking um, that's the way that I like to look at it yeah. um, uh, how how Charlie went through the processes I w I not totally clear but <laughs> you've got to think <laughs> she's a wizard yeah, <laughs> she's a wi <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you've got to think that that thing is whew, 80 to 100 tons. Yeah. So you got to think, how does that move? That it, like to really sell like the weight and everything, and yeah, uh, and its demeanor and everything to sort of push uh, push you to the edge of like fear of when you creep up on around the corner and boom, it's there. So yeah. I just love the way you can almost you can hear it thudding. The sound design as well on that. Yeah, and then exactly. as you come into it and you see the thing actually, you know, shaking as it puts its feet down. Like you can feel it, but you you can't hmm. quite pinpoint it yet. And just just that feeling of am I going to creep on, up on it from behind the side or is it going to see me absolutely as soon as I come from the, the, these bushes? And uh, yeah, just that tension can really uh, gr uh, grab you in. But the the runners, uh, uh, as I can see here, that you're creeping up on yeah. yourself, like you know, th they seem a little bit more relaxed. They in seem that a sense. bit more docile until yeah. you. Wake and them you up, can actually yeah. find them a little bit easier mm. because of their packs. Yes. So we are. We've actually come across a beacon here now, which is uh, kind of why they're congregating around it here. Um, so we're probably getting a little bit of a firefight now, which is good because I. I need some ammunition, and they're a great <laughs> source of bullets. I've got a few from my hunting Very rifle, true. but my SMG is looking a bit bad. Um, I'm going to be cunning, and I'm going to stick one of these down first. Oh Hopefully, my. I'm going to sneak, and they won't actually see me behind the tree. AC is getting right up there. AC, come back here. So I was trying to be cunning. I'm sticking down a gas tank. Uh, but These things are great. Yeah. I love But They look that. like the AC's got all of the attention at the moment, so <laughs> come over here. Let's just go for the hunting rifle. Just yeah, old oh, faithful. Oh snap! Oh, that one was actually running at us, and actually shot it down mid-strike. Okay, so what my my uh, cunning plan originally was to stick that on the floor and see if I could bait them onto it, but we'll we'll get them next time. Um, so yeah, you can actually um, bust up these things. I'm not gonna, I don't want to talk about too much some of the things we come across because you know. I don't want to fully uh, explain the everythings and, uh, ins and, and, outs, yeah. and the ins and outs yeah, you, and everything. Yeah, yeah you want to have people sort of yeah. find it themselves, yeah. Yes, precisely. So we have uh, oh, the car. This one's wrecked, isn't it? So I'm not going to find anything in this one. Yeah, when they're flipped over to one side, they tend to be a little bit harder at times. Yeah, or I mean, I, I remember we actually were playing really early on and obviously if you destroy a car then the loot and it's the gone yeah and uh you know we're doing these demo sessions for press and you kind of pre-plan how you want to do things in some cases and it's like this is the point where we pick up the rifle which we're then going to talk about for the next segment right. and i kind of had some uh you know loose fire let's say and uh blew up the car with a rifle in it so <laughs> yeah <laughs> we had to completely change how the rest of the interview went but that's that's quite fun always uh always things going on with uh you know, live stuff, let's say. Uh, let's see if we've got any uh, questions from the chat, because we've been talking a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, can I play beta for pre-pressure the game? There is no beta at this point. We have one during October. Uh, it was for a limited time, unfortunately. Um, da -da 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 -da. And the one that AC can't wait to throw into again. Yeah, AC is a machine. Well, <laughs> the other things are machines, <laughs> but when it comes to killing stuff, she's a machine, let's she's say. She's on point. Yeah, she's uh, on point. Uh, are there areas with permanent snow on the map? Um, I don't think we have permanent snow areas, but we do have dynamic weather, and you will get snowfall happening. Yes. Uh, we've showed some of that off in a previous stream. Um, I've actually planned to put together a little video, actually, so we can kind of showcase um, weather effects happening. So look forward to that at yeah. some point soon. That's um, pretty cool. 
But yeah, you can see the snow come down and it settles on stuff. It's it's really cozy. Um, yeah, uh, I actually use that backdrop sort of time frame uh, for whenever I'm showing internal work mm -hmm. within the game. Like, ah, uh, I've just put this piece of work in and I'll have that as the backdrop, just yep. a nice little bit of snow. But now this time of year, there's quite a lot of snow outside, it's less really. Cozy so, this uh, time <laughs> so yeah, it's, it, it's now uh, yeah. sort of like the other turn. I want the sunshine <laughs> yes. a little bit more. Okay, uh, this is the relay break and then we just went past. I left it up, but you can actually take this out. So we're going to head up towards this kind of region here. It might right. get a little bit messy. It might get painful. I'm fully expecting to be horribly murdered, but hopefully AC will save me. We so uh, chose the right time of day to do it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's uh, dark out, but I just don't want to, well, don't want to come across any hunters. Rather, they come across you. So <laughs> right, yes. Uh, how sort of friendly the game, or is it more co-op orientated? Um, whatever you fancy, really. I mean, I played a fair bit of it solo, um, but I also played co-op as well when doing streams of AC, for example. Um, some challenges might be a little bit trickier in solo, I'd guess. Um, you know, throwing numbers at things is always going to make things a bit easier, but you should fully well be able to play through the game and enjoy it any any way you like. Um, yeah. Yeah. No worries there. Myself, I've primarily played it either solo or with another one other friend and mm. that's how i've primarily played but like obviously in-house we're obviously playing uh at, as groups with a lot more of us just to you know try and find the bugs ourselves or uh, yeah, it's complete good to get hands on yeah complete yeah. testing of all the animations because like we could get through about two weeks worth of work and you know i need some other people's eyes to have a look at my work to see whether like sometimes you look at something too long don't you yeah, 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 yeah. you kind of get lost in it so it's really mm. nice so other animators and then again we have uh, everyone else sort of jumping in and I would always get feedback and everyone else within the team in their own disciplines would also get feedback on on points as well so we had mm. that for a lot of the processes I mean the team is you know it's of a size where information sharing is pretty good. It's oh yeah, it's us. great. It's you know you're not set across different wings of different buildings. <laughs> it's yeah, uh, different time zones. Uh, like yeah. some games might have to work with. So yeah, yeah, it's been uh, very easy to sort of straight after I can get up and go like three seats over and just have a, a quick conversation and uh, even screen share and sort of give uh, viable feedback. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, shotgun scope. I've already got. I haven't got a shotgun, but I have. I have found a collectible, nice. which is which is nice. Those um, I'll let you look at those when you uh, when you play yourself. But there are <laughs> objects littered around the world. Um, one of them is actually in our collector edition, which you can pre-order now. The, the, the Dala Hest uh, is a Dala and right. a horse, yeah. basically. It's a traditional item, and we've got kind of a reference to that in the game, which is why you're actually seeing those in the collector's edition. Uh, right now but um yeah Donna. I, I honestly i haven't even found them all no no, no. <laughs> uh, generally i suck at that kind of thing i'm i'm like i like doing it i like but doing I, it but i'm awful at it yeah and and when i miss one my i just i get okay the rest of the game is over now <laughs> after tunnel vision so i find everything but you know people play different ways like yeah. i got friends who are like collectibles ah. and i got other ones who yeah. are like i will 100 percent everything um, yeah, as a true Viking, I will get the collector's edition. <laughs> Good job. Great stuff. <laughs> um, how varied is the design of each house? I mean, yeah, I, it's hard to say the number between 1 and 10. <laughs> uh, um, you're going to see some similarities because of the way that they're sort of built, I guess. You know, assets are created and then we'll kind of put them together like building blocks in some cases to create things. So yeah. you might see some items replicated, but you know, you shouldn't feel like you're in a whole bunch of cloned buildings, put that way. Yeah, but it's completely stylized and based off Swedish buildings. Yeah. Uh, quite a few of these actually look very similar to an area where I live. So it's mm -hmm. quite amusing how like on point it is. Like yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, s I've seen <laughs> straight that after so moving much. here, I was like, ah, yeah. oh, it's really, really nice around here. And then I got into the game and went, wait, what? <laughs> I'm walking around my same area. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I've seen that so much throughout the beta as well. We have Swedes coming into it and uh, like, oh, the fields. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, I remember. Yeah, during yeah. the beta. Yeah, that was that was that's pretty cool to hear that a lot of. Uh, 
Swedish people mm. actually feel like there is a right connection to it. Mm. Uh, why are we not streaming on the weekend? Because we don't want to work seven days a week. Sorry. True that. Um, <laughs> but you will find us everywhere else at all kinds of weird times on our forums and Discord and all that kind of thing. Uh, we do guys show some of the weapons that are not in the beta. Definitely in an upcoming stream. We'll do that for you. Oh. Any plan for pricing localization on Steam like Brazil and Russia? Oh, we yeah, you have different prices in Brazil, very, very system on exchange. That's a very good question. I'll have to pitch that to our uh, sales team after the stream. I can't give an answer live now, unfortunately. DLC season planning, there's going to be a whole bunch of uh, post-launch support of various types, um, paid DLC and free updates. So, yes, uh, you'll have lots of stuff to look forward to in the future. Uh, what are the specs you guys are playing this game on right now? I'm not sure what the CPU is, but it's a uh, 1080 graphics card. I think 16 gig of RAM in here. Um, that Hunter's getting a bit close. For come here. Yeah. Did I, did I whiff that entirely? No. Need to yeah. Oh. I don't like that laser sight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I th think it's an auto <laughs> shotgun one. I could have actually checked that because I have the right skill. Trying to be clever and like line of sight him on the hill a little bit. Yeah, he, he's having a hard time trying I to pick you off ammo. the hill. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this is why I didn't like the laser sight because I knew what he's got. Yeah. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Uh. AC, save me. Uh, where's my health packs? Oh, now he's got friends coming in. I think it's, I've actually turned my mouse speed down really, really, there we go, really low. <laughs> I'm having difficulty hitting him. I'm blaming that. Mm. Ah, that was a good one hit there. Nearly didn't see him there. So AC's popped the flare now, which should... Oh no, we shot the weapon off. But that does that's fine, because they're attacking the flare now. Mm. So, those of you who haven't seen, you can actually um, use things to distract the machines. Uh, such as flares, fireworks, and that kind of thing. This one doesn't have a gun on him at the moment, so he's going to probably try and rush me, unless I kill it first. Um, so yeah, basically, let's do a quick TLDR of that. You saw uh, a couple of runners, a few runners. Uh, first one was armed with a missile launcher, which thankfully the first shot was a tree in the way. <laughs> that was like me playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, AC dropped a flare, which thankfully saved my behind. Thanks, AC. Go you. And then the buddies arrived afterwards. Um... Now, we actually managed to shoot the weapons off them, which meant that they were more inclined to try to melee us. But personally, I hate the melee attack. It really... Yeah, it it's brutal. It's brutal. It knocks you back, and it just messes you around. And yeah, it's you have to think carefully if you want to shoot those guns <laughs> off. Yeah. Uh, uh, but thankfully, <laughs> we had the flare down, so we were saved. I um, remember when uh, mm. that the melee first went in, and um, they were put on as all the time. To test them out. Yes, I remember that. And actually. Yeah. oh wow, when you had six of them all coming at you, just looking to headbutt you, it <laughs> was that was some. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, but it w it's great because like it it put you in that sort of frustration mode of you had to use different tactics exactly, completely. Yeah. So if I'd been a bit more on the ball there, I mean, but AC was had her game sensors on before me. She got the flare down. I could have probably tried to. Oh, you were the star of their attention there for a second, so she <laughs> took full opportunity. Yeah. So I'm being asked, is this story driven or is it kind of is it an open world survival esque? So, um, I'm trying to avoid a lot of the juicy bits when mm. we're streaming because I really want you to be able to discover them yourselves. Like we have these really cool ruins over here. Often I'd go, oh my god, these are awesome. Let's go and look at them. But I want you folks to see them firsthand yourself when you get the game. So I'm kind of you know, flicking past a bunch of stuff. There is um, a story to the game. Uh, you would have seen some of it in the beginning of the beta, um, or at least the version of it as it was then. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm intentionally leaning away from the story and more just kind of just showing you some open world gameplay because I don't want to spoil stuff for you. So maybe as we get close to launch, we could uh, show a little bit more story stuff off, but we'd have to put spoiler tags on all of the things. And ah, I, don't yeah. I don't want to spoil it. I want you all to yeah. enjoy it yourself. It's a really really nice, uh, nice, really well-written story. I don't want to say nice, because it's not really <laughs> nice, but you'll get it when you see it. Um, any swimming animations in the works? Yeah, back to the animation question. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess we have to have the swimming function first. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, yeah. 
you got to look at like the functions of it all um yeah. and especially with how the story starts mm. is like you've been attacked on a boat and you've ended up ashore on this island just off Sweden and you know uh if you could swim you could just completely swim away and game over uh so yeah, we've that's true. we've yeah. <laughs> we've purposely kept it that you can't um just for that fact and there is so much land to go around on with very little water there like there's patches of water obviously around the sea yeah and uh there's lakes and things yeah a little bit of lakes I think but we're going to be right like by one just yeah. past one yeah but uh nothing where you're like oh i definitely have to swim across this i must swim like there's nothing quite like that there's whoa nope <laughs> nope <laughs> didn't have the energy <laughs> so um i yeah. heard that stomping I mean, we were talking about the sound earlier where you yeah. kind of the big machines you sense them before you see them i heard the stomping so i thought I'd check oh that well out, so. have a look to your right oh jeez. there it, there are a bunch of friends coming oh your they're, way. they're coming and they're, they're right over to your right can you oh left now so is there something over that way? I, I can see a lighthouse. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That that was like the the, the kamikaze method. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was some impeccable timing on that melee. Oh. Uh, we're way out in the open here, so I have absolutely no cover at all. Yeah. AC retreat. Whoa. Tactical retreat. I'm just spending most of the stream running away whilst AC's. Uh, Thank you, everything. Slightly distracted. For so the what we've come across there was a harvester and its escort, basically, mm -hmm. and uh, they're not meant to be easy by any. Oh, jeez! I'm gonna get back. I haven't got what I wanted. Oh, in there's a flare thrown. That's not bad. Yeah, I was just about to do the same thing. <laughs> Have another one, just in case. Can't help. Can't hurt. That was not a good shot. So, those of you who are new to the game and are seeing this the first time, you're seeing a lot of my shots uh, kind of glancing off them. That's mostly because I'm being bad. Um, <laughs> what you need to do is kind of shoot the ammunition, um, ammunition, armor plating off them to be able to get the you know juicy bits underneath, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, we'll take out their weapons. Or take out their weapons. Make them a little bit easier. There we go. Um, the fact that they're kind of distracted by this flare right now is making this much easier than it would have been before. Um, as you saw, that first first engagement before the flares went down, it was all a bit scary. Um, let's see what, what goodies we got. Ooh. Don't nice. I, I can't. I don't, oh, no. I, don't have the weapon really? for the, I don't have the weapon for those anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, these are going to drop pretty... don't have a shotgun either. Oh wow. oh wow! Now this is a group that you. Yeah, I, w I wish I had the right see. gear. <laughs> 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 oh man, it's the one you want. I'm getting plenty of buckshot, but you can't have it. <laughs> actually, did I did I bring a shotgun? No, I actually no. I switched it out before the stream. I thought I'll take a hunting rifle, but um, you do favour that. I do. I, I like the the surgical hits, I guess. Whereas AC is a, a big proponent of the shotgun. Um, this so that was a, a little bit of intensive action there. Let's get back to we missed anything from the chat. Uh, does this game have a set difficulty level that's getting difficult to progress, or as you find your areas? Uh, it's more area dependent. Mm -hmm. So we, we've come off of the start island here, which is why we're seeing scary things like we just encountered there. It seems the harvester moved on, and that's kind of what they will do. They don't want to fight yeah. harvesters so much. I mean, the harvester to the machines is more of a well, harvester of things, isn't it? It's they have an idea of where they want to go, and yeah, obviously but combat should be a last ditch. Yeah, thing, it's yeah. it's one thing that they will try to avoid. Mm. So as you you were completely distracted, yeah, you've lost fully where it was, even though we only potentially heard it with a glimpse of it. Yeah. So I can hear something. I can hear something. Where are you? It's over there somewhere. Anyway, we'll leave that be. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to plink it, plink it on my hunting rifle. But, um... Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what else. Du -du 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 -du. Are you guys trying to make the game immersive or more in and out action orientated? Um, what, why not have both, Dot Jif? I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, it has is, its moments yeah. of both. And I think it's the immersive elements that really help you make you appreciate the action more. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we've been walking a little while and talking, and then 
you've had me screaming, <laughs> running away from machines. And you need that calm period to accentuate the, um, the action. What? Whoa. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, What's going what on? What was that? Where did that come from? Has AC found something weird? Or something? Oh, no. It's... It's the harvester somewhere. Okay, let's just get. Oh. It's over the top of the hill. I'm going away from it. AC, let's just let's just leave that. We haven't got anything to fight back with. We don't have the weaponry we would have hoped. So we're heading to the wards of the lighthouse here. Actually, um, this is the goal just up ahead. Um, and those of you who are coming halfway through, uh, if you're wondering who we are, I'm Graham, Community Manager Generation Zero, and next to myself is uh, Paul, uh, one of our animation team. So if you have any and all questions about, uh, oh, we have a tank. Um, if you have any and all questions about, there's a tick. Oh, oh okay. I, yeah. sa I saved you your bacon there, AC. <laughs> you are uh, walking into a heavy, heavy area. Yeah. Oh, this is going to get nasty, isn't it? Uh-oh. Oh. AC down. I'll save you. Um. No, I won't. No, you won't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I can actually self-revive because I had a shot, but let's... I might actually get... Yeah, you guns. might actually be rocket rocketed. Ooh. Oh, no, AC nah, actually... Nah, she died. Yeah, she's... Uh, Unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to try and just escape and run away, and we'll... We'll do that with AC back with us. Um, what was I saying? Yes, Paul is an animator. Yes. And uh, he loves to animate things and all these awesome machines you're seeing in the world, people, basically anything that moves. Yep. Uh, Paul and the other animation team are responsible for. So if you have any questions you want to send Paul's way, please do. Um, Had a little chat about uh, the robots before. Um, all the machines, however mm. way you want to put them. Uh, I primarily was focused on third person, and I did a little bit of first uh, when I first got here to, you know, break in to uh, the project. Uh, pretty much all the, the items in first person, um, and I'm not sure what what actual weapons you've actually shown off. So I, I would just leave it at I've. I've touched a few, but nothing yeah. crazy or anything, but... Yeah. Okay, but mostly you've been... Oh, the, I've been yeah. third person. Yeah. Oh, they called in runners. <laughs> I need to get to AC. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> See, <laughs> running away is a strategic <laughs> and valid option in this game. Um, don't yeah. want this right up my wow. rear. Wow. Fetch. Oh, wow, it that called in loads. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to try and bail out. That's no way I'm going to survive that. Just I'm every time in the dark, you just saw those red lights. Yeah. Oof. Okay, yeah, that's good. So, Flair saved my bacon there. But it sounds like AC's found something up there. <laughs> We're in a really nasty area. <laughs> um, I saw you said a comment about not representative of the final product isn't released in March. Shouldn't the current product be quite representative of the final product? This is kind of a disclaimer because I'm using a development branch of the game right now. Mm -hmm. um, so, in order for us to kind of make things a bit smoother in setting up for the stream and that kind of thing i do use a development branch which does mean it's not necessarily the the final product so that's why that is yeah. there so if you see something crash it's more likely because i'm using uh, untested stuff on a development branch here yes um once we're actually live you'll probably start to see us play on the live build for a while and then we'll probably start using development branches again as we show you more upcoming stuff that might be coming after release mm -hmm. yes any ragdoll physics in the same vein as Just Cause, Paul? Oh. Do you have uh, worked with Just Cause yourself? No, no. I, I haven't. Um, obviously, oh. know a few of the team. Uh, but oh. Just Cause, obviously... <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Ace, Did she pull down the side? Went bungee jumping without a bungee. <laughs> oh, and I didn't get there in time. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, AC. Uh, uh, um, with uh, Just Cause, uh, obviously... Um, Designs and ideas obviously feed across mm. uh, to different projects, but most of the time that sort of development is, you know, particular to the project. Yeah. Um, I don't personally touch too much, or n not much at all, of the ragdoll that's uh, uh, headed up by uh, Sebastian. Here, he's been okay. um, the one really touching more of uh, and developing the ragdoll within this game. Um, yeah, uh, the f 
few iterations we had towards the start were comical, uh, but <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously. But Ragdoll, they give the, like some of the stuff in other games have, are stuff. amazing. Yeah, yeah. but uh, like you know, when, when whenever you're uh, actually at hand from the get-go and seeing it all go through its processes, it's. Uh, there are even more moments that are amazing yeah. that, you, like, some people will never see because, like, you know, developers of all uh, studios will try and push it to the utmost it can be for everyone to see. But, yeah, yeah. when it's oh, in wow. development, it's amazing it's what you can see. Wow. Oh, AC just... You, I can save your AC. No, but someone needs to save me now. She's really taken some of the bullets, man. You're yeah, she's doing... <laughs> <laughs> Trooper. Yeah, you gotta jump in there a bit more. I, I'm, I'm trying to be tactical. I'm talking <laughs> at the same time. So she's uh, running gun, and you're just. Yeah, tactical. Well, we got right. two different play styles here, definitely. Which, as I should mention, you can actually choose uh, skill points to, you know. Yes. Implement a little bit, uh, implement effect a little bit more your preferred play style, let's say. Yeah. As you can see, AC is more of a raw berserker, and I'm a more of a. Uh, <laughs> Sit back and, and hide. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit more of a berserker as well. I, oh, yeah. I just like getting a shotgun and going straight in. Yeah, shotgun is is a lot of fun actually. I mean, that's I said I oh, I keep finding these things, but I don't have the right. Or I throw a lot of grenades. Like grenades. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wish I had a few grenades for that last encounter we had. Let's scout around here and see if we can find anything good because um, we've got all sorts of scary stuff around us, and I, I'm feeling a bit undergunned. Um, and to chat. Any night vision or other spec op military equipment in the game? Well, we have limitations because we're trying to play in an 80, 80s timeline um, for the most part. I don't know. Maybe we may diverge in that future. And who knows? Yeah. Um, but as of now, I don't think we have. We have some cool stuff, which is, for example, from I have a perk. Um, I can actually cycle through this and I'll get some kind of infor extra information when I'm scouting out machines. I don't yeah. see one around at the moment. Thankfully, because I'll be dead. Um, but there is definitely a kind of oh, you got one right. There on. we go. Some kind of extra tech elements like this, for example. I can see that he actually has a high explosive. No, yeah, he has a grenade launcher. So yeah, uh, AC, you deal with that. Down as difficulty <laughs> hard. Um, yeah, perfect. So I mean, you are going to see some kind of tech items like that. But the, as I said, that comes from a perk. Um, night vision stuff. We'll see. I guess. Oh, shot the gun off. Now AC's going to get mauled. Oh, oh. Ripper Rooney. I really need to get some ammunition. This is definitely an area where, oh. obviously, team play comes in to be uh, a dominant part of the game. Yes. So me not leaving AC to hang out to dry, for yeah. example. <laughs> 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 but like I said, I'm talking. It makes it very difficult. <laughs> trying to run a stream here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, AC, I, got, I, no, I, Sorry. Haven't, I haven't got you. Thankfully, we're really close to a respawn point there. It makes it a lot easier. Um, we do have adrenaline shots in the game, or mm -hmm. I could resurrect AC. But it seems that she's choosing rather to uh, use the close boy, the safe spot. Ouch. Well, if you ran over in this scenario as you are now, uh, trying to pick her up, you would have just got I would completely probably got headbutted. Yes, but that was some pretty skillful kiting there, I must say. Mm -hmm. Did I mention I played Hunter in WoW? Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, let's see if we have any other stuff going on in chat. AC is like Doom Guy. Actually, machines are locked in a room with her and not vice versa. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. She's not locked in a room with machines. The machines are locked in with her. Um, I've already deleted that one. Cool. So, how has this project been in comparison to your previous one, Paul? It looks more involved with the Scala project not being a typical AAA. Well, I wouldn't say we're a typical AAA because we don't define ourselves as AAA at all, do we? Mm, I mean, no. it's. Um, we're a, we're a spot between, you know, uh, I guess. As as what the devs do say is, uh, think of it as double A with a triple uh, A heart, sort of soul of it all. That's a that's a nice description. Yeah. Well, yeah. Th that's pretty much. I've probably just mm. said it a little bit different, but that's the essence yeah. of it all. It's, it's uh, the aspiration, I guess. Yeah, because yeah. obviously being a smaller team, but with all the knowledge of what everyone is bringing to the and table. You have to still have a AAA experience. Yeah, exactly. Uh, obviously, time frame and um, the size of the group uh, mm. is different. So yeah. I mean, this isn't like a you know eight-year development cycle game. Exactly. Or, yeah. yeah. 
uh, we're not Final Fantasy. So <laughs> 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 you know, that, that no spoilers. <laughs> Men- not meant to know about the Final Fantasy tie-in. No. <laughs> but um, as uh, this in comparison, um, very different uh, where I was before. I worked at TT Games, which was just Lego games. Mm. And obviously, um, restrictions of Lego characters is very different in comparison to being more uh, lifelike with these characters being full on humans, uh, bar the actual machines themselves. But um, yeah, uh, obviously, similar sort of way of going about it in work wise, as uh, the industry has, you know, set a standard of how everything is put together prepared uh, of a studio so those parts of it are very similar but um actually animation wise it's been very different uh pushed a lot of my skills uh especially with uh the mocapping um yeah tell us more about mocapping because how how do you mocap a four-legged machine I mean, yeah. Um, well, so actu- first explain to me what mocapping is. Right. Uh, uh, motion, uh, there, well, yeah. mocap is motion capture. Uh, so uh, some of you might obviously know from big films such as Avatar pushed it over to the limit So uh, of motion capture. But in games, they've been doing it for a far longer, uh, which is you're in a motion captured suit. Um, uh, some classic ones have like uh, balls on them and cameras are the all picking up ball those. Suits, yeah, yeah. ping pong ball yeah. suits. Yeah, ping pong ball suits. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, so you got cameras um, taking all the information on how they move, and you just bring it into uh, your software that you have, and you basically connect it up to the skeleton that is within the project that you have you okay. that you've built. So, so you kind of attach the movements to existing anchor points that are on the Correct, yeah. Uh, so you got multiple points of saying for shoulders, elbows, um you got points of like the hip, the chest, everything like mm. that. With our our suit internal, uh we we actually mo capped everything in studio um by multiple people. Uh one uh being me. One of you being you? Okay. Uh, so you're an actor in your <coughs> spare time? Or yeah, uh, yeah. I did quite a bit of the acting um, for parts that obviously we will go over a bit later. Um, but uh, we had um, Jonas, another animator, who was also uh, did primarily all the third person movement sets. Um, he had. Uh, a good idea of how to push it because obviously we had um, the idea of these are teenagers they've never held a gun really ever mm-hmm. in their life and yeah. they've just been put in this scenario they're not like high militant you know SAS or uh, mercenaries like they they don't know how to run around with a gun and be absolutely like skilled to the, the brim of Okay. Going after these so machines. So actually, you take things into account that almost in the way they handle the weapons. And oh yeah, yeah. Uh, like that's why we s- we went for the direction of they've always got the gun at hip aim. Uh, it's always pointing forward because of like they're not used to proper th- gun handling. Yeah, yeah. they they don't have it across their chest, sort of like how mm. you would see um, army people going around with a the gun. They're always like scared. They're always got it right up front, like sort of no aim sort of idea of it all uh that like they could pull the trigger and absolutely scare the bejesus out of themselves pulling the, <laughs> the yeah. trigger sort of like so they it, we had this sort of idea of that like they they have no idea of what they're in for uh in that sense but okay. they're um obviously it's a do or die situation so mm. that's how we were coming across putting it all together and um uh we went through uh quite a few iterations at the start um uh, trying to get the idea across without actually trying to lose what the game is at the same time. Because mm. if you look overly scared and everything, seeing this all the time, somebody sort of scared, sort of like worried that about everything, it doesn't like, you know, seeing that all the time doesn't really push the game. So you've got to, f- got to show like nervousness and uh, vulnerability, but... Don't lose that of but what don't Yeah, lose the, the game element, yeah, I guess. Exactly. Okay, cool. Uh, what are your plans regarding content creators and CC partnerships? Content, content creators, if you like making content, we like you making contact. Send an email to social at generationzero.com mm-hmm. and uh, you'll talk to me. Um, 
and uh, yeah, we'll talk more about what you want to do with the game. Uh, right. ba -ba What other questions have we got here? Seems like we did not see Sunrise today. No, we've been playing through at night most of the session, actually. Yeah, we can do a daylight a session next time. Previous stream, <laughs> we were in daylight, so I try and mix it up a little bit. And yeah. it makes it extra spooky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. And as we mentioned earlier, you get to see those light effects through the trees and uh, and whatnot. Um, okay, what I'm actually going to do now, I'm going to flip over to something else, and we can talk about um, some other stuff you worked on. I've, I've prepared a video earlier. Right. Um, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So keep the questions coming into chat, please. We're going to drop off the uh, the game for a bit, and we're going to flitch, uh, flitch, flick over. So that's a flick and switch over to a video I took of some emotes that uh, Paul's actually worked on for the game. Yeah. So um, let's actually switch over to this now, and you should see some emotes going on in the background there. And I'm going to just. Take the sound down here. They'll loop through so we can talk to them about them in just a sec. Cool. Righty, so what are we looking at here, Paul? Um, um, well, the time frame that we're all in in yeah. this game is the 80s. So yes. Some very skilled sort of dance moves going on here. Uh, <laughs> um, the 80s had uh, a lot to do with very sort of strange uh, dances. Mm. Um, some have influence that you might recognize and some are just completely sort of thrown together of the era of like looking at videos online of actual 80s and sort of throwing them all together and sort of try to capture of what the 80s had. Um, yeah. Try to just have fun because uh, that there is a obviously serious tones in this game and uh, it can be as you say spooky but it gets pretty crazy uh, but you know a bit of light heartedness a bit of levity uh, in there yeah, yeah. especially as uh, in the beta everybody loved uh, partying out in the forests yes we saw so a lot of that in the beta like impromptu dance parties people putting down boom boxes yeah. flares fireworks everything yeah, so, so. Uh, we thought we'll We'll, we'll lean into it. that. Yeah, 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 we'll push it all the way up to 11 for that yeah. and uh, give you all the chance to really sort of boogie down on onto everything that you got. Cool. So, I mean, these are going to be some of the ones we were initially going to see. So I've just taken a, grabbed a, a handful that we can show. Yeah. But there's a few more in there. And, of course, we're going to be having other ways of uh, getting your hands on them as well. All kinds of different cool stuff. Yeah. Um, um, so, how do we get the mocap for these then? Are these all, all your dance moves? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. These particular ones are actually, yes, they're, mm. they're me. Right, um, so what I wanted you to do now, I want you to mirror what oh. you're seeing on stream. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't do live performances. No, it's uh, fine. These were many, many, many takes. Um, all alone as well, because, like, you know, just... You, in that suit, you just look ridiculous at yeah. the same time. So, uh, okay, so this is like fully one man band stuff, private room, <laughs> no one can see you. at first, yeah. yeah. But, um, as, as uh, other parts of the project went on, like you know, you sort of uh, you know, open up the door to uh, everybody else's opinion, and obviously, there, there were like some parts where mm. actually one or two, maybe one, uh, is, isn't actually me because it was just like you know. I can only do dance I can only <laughs> do so much. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you're also showing a few of the e emotes of uh, pointing, yeah, waving. Yeah, general. We have dancers in there, and we have, as you said, some like yeah. come over here, come over look here, over be there, beckon, help. Kind of uh, which also have a, a first-person uh, version of them. Uh, so when you're pointing, you actually have the first-person pointing. But when you actually hit an emote, you will actually be drawn out to a third person view to actually see the dance yourself. in full yeah. fledge. Like so I'm actually looking at, when I recorded this, I was using binoculars, binoculars yeah. looking at AC, but as you said, if you perform yourself, you kind of get that step yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, you, you can actually see it fully uh, and uh, dance out to your heart's content, really. You have to add an 80s air metal guitar. You know when you play metal songs that are an actual guitar? I'd be very surprised if you didn't see that. I, I'd be very disappointed if we didn't see that. Uh, I'm not saying anything. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> see. Make it happen. I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, Wayne's World. No, that was Bill and Ted I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah. Classics. Yes. Um, so yeah, we've got about five minutes left. Um, please get some questions 
in uh, chat. It could be general stuff related to the game, if you have any questions we didn't cover. Um, stuff specifically related to animation, whilst we have Paul here. And again, I reiterate what you saw today uh, was mostly an open roam. Uh, we wanted to show you some, some tougher stuff. Uh, um, and you definitely did that. I, I yeah. didn't realize <laughs> the area that you were actually walking into was so built up. Yes. Wow. <laughs> but I did intentionally try and avoid some of the story and avoided some yeah. of the more sort of sneaky special locations. But so yeah. this is why um, you were, I was a little looked a little bit aimless, but it was with a, a master plan. <laughs> Will you release really? the soundtrack? Um, I would say that could be a possibility we'd look into. Uh, we haven't got anything to talk about that just now, but I, we've had a lot of really good feedback about the soundtrack. Exactly, so we'll, yeah. Uh, um, see what happens now. It's uh, one of the favorite things that I remember hearing about at the beta, so... Uh, was the music was on point uh, so that's great stuff to hear like you know just everyone in the the team has been listening to that and thought like and thinking that was epic from the start but you just never know what the work that you're on is is everybody gonna love you it? never know what's gonna resonate with people do yeah you, exactly guess, so. so like just hitting that note straight away mm. and then obviously that's a nice grasp for some people to take it in and uh animation standpoint um, everyone seems pretty happy with it I assume uh, I've not heard any sort of bad stuff so us as a team are pretty happy to hear that like you know yeah. it's always nice to I say it's I guess it's a bit scary putting out the first time and yeah kind of nice to hear or not hear stuff in some cases yeah, yeah. Uh, no bad yeah. news is good news I guess yeah um, let's see what questions we have here will there be emergency radio broadcasts still um, it's hard to say. We don't know yet if there's anyone out there to make broadcasts. You'll have to find that out when you play the game, I guess. Uh, how do you come up with the whole concept for the game, the whole Robots in 1980 Sweden? Well, um, of course, it wasn't my idea. It wasn't Paul's idea. It's our game director, Emil, can take a lot of the um, honors for that, I guess, yeah. along with, I think it was Tobias, our senior producer. They were um, you know, having discussion about it. Uh, Emil grew up out in the countryside in Sweden, so a lot of the areas you're seeing kind of hold a special place for him, I'd mm -hmm. say. And, you know, we have a team of Swedish developers and you don't really see Sweden in video games so much. So this was kind of a very much a pet project in that respect. Being able to show Swedish environments and how beautiful they are to a world stage. Mm -hmm. And I, I, as for why machines, I don't know. I guess zombies have been done <laughs> too much. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, th the nice thing about machines, I know that I've heard Emil talking about in the past, is that you can really tie them to the 80s, the way that the machines are kind of modeled and they, shown, they became and machine, crazy. You know. I, I remember when uh, uh, Nintendo was originally trying to pitch the NES, the original, and the way that they actually captured everyone was using Rob the Robot. Mm. And people bought it for Rob the Robot and not for a game console, because game console was after the crash. Okay. So uh, robots was just big and they grasped everyone and yep. then all of a sudden gaming came back into full flourish again yep. just off that and that's just because of one robot okay. which is insane so, so we're bringing we're bringing robots back with yeah so we, <laughs> we'll say we call them machines we make a differentiation there to more tie it to the fact it's more 80s low tech these aren't like I don't know Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica Cylon type things they're yeah. meant to be kind uh, of I don't know about yeah. totally low tech that one had a pretty good rocket launcher laser on, on you yes <laughs> so. that's true but, uh, <laughs> as, as a kind of base concept let's say yeah. uh, what if you send an email for content creation but you did not receive a reply in a week um, probably because we're super duper busy at the moment um, uh, you, right now there's not really anything for content creators to be involved in due to the fact we're kind of in between cycles of things that are public facing as we start to get towards launch then you can definitely count on us getting in touch there yeah. uh, in the handgun slot there are going to be handguns or also machine pistols and sawed off shotguns um, just handguns for now I believe that's a great idea I don't know what the dev team have cooked up that they haven't shown you that I won't talk about things like that anyway if they did that mm. so <laughs> um, so basically the way that I, we run streams if you're asking a question can we have I will always take it as a suggestion. Let's put it like that way. So yeah, if, no, I, if I'm a bit coy. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Is there bullet drop in the game? Um, there is. It's not like bullet drop that you might see in other games. Like Battlefield series, I see, I mm. guess. In multiplayer games, you could, they kind of over-exaggerate bullet drop in some respect because you kind of need it for that skill element, I guess. You yeah. But people are getting pinged across the entire map. It gets frustrating if you're firing laser beams at each other. So... Here, the, there is an element to it, but it's not going to be like lobbing. Like yes, yeah. let's say. Yeah. Um, 
you mentioned you prefer tactical gameplay. Myself, personally, I I do. Uh, how effective is stealth in the game? Can you prone crowd to sneak and just run around like in some other games? It's a big deal in this game, actually, isn't it? I mean, we actually... Um, we simulate sensors on the machines. So they will have sound, they have eyesight, sometimes extra sensors in the forms of maybe heat detection if the machine is equipped with that particular bit of gear. And you kind of defeat those sensors in the normal way you'd expect. Uh, sight, you need to hide. Sound, you might want to put yourself objects between you and them. Um, yeah, so you can react intelligently as you would expect to have to react to avoid these senses. So, you know, keeping low, keeping behind cover, keeping noise down. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely, stealth is very much a um, tactic in the game and one that I often prefer to use. Um, I try not to play too much stealthy when I'm on stream because I'm conscious that although a lot of you love to play stealth, it doesn't always make for good viewing. So I might yeah. be a little bit more uh, gung-ho, let's say. But next um, next time, go for a shotgun straight out the bat. I, I, I've I'm, played a shotgun I'm a bunch push, of previous yeah, streams, so I'm, I'm yeah. really push it to limit. If you just That'd like great. raw and run at the faces <laughs> and just hope the best, I guess. Rambo it. Yeah. Uh, can you make him a little more free play? You turn off hints and tips. So you're not led by the hand. Actually, um, there's very much. I've just realised we've left the. Let's fl let's flip round the backdrop there because we've had the looping going on and on. Yeah. People coming halfway be like, "What's this?" I'm watching. <laughs> um, what was it? I lost my train of thought. Uh, a little more free play. So yeah, we actually do encourage um, more exploration and learning for yourself in a mm -hmm. lot of aspects in the game. It's not all uh, go to this waypoint which we've shown you. Um, a lot of it we might give you the tools to find out where you go yourself. You might see a hint due to the way that a, a corpse is lying down or the direction a car is facing or like circumstances in the scene and layout and set setting that you've come across. Or maybe there's a a hint in a, a note combined with a map you found, perhaps. Um, so there's definitely ways of, you know, actually getting the rewarding feeling of finding something yourself mm -hmm. without yeah. getting sort of led by yeah. that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm. Uh, question, 30 gigabytes for console. Approximately, I think that's about the install size. Yes. Like that, yeah. uh, will there be a PV mode so I can camp on Consum with a shotty? No <laughs> PVP at this, pla at this stage. Um, one to four player co-op. <laughs> Um, but who knows what the future may bring. But as of now, it's one play wonderful player co-op, and we are very happy with that so far. Right. Um, yeah, I think that about wraps us up for the stream. So thank you so much for coming along, Paul. You've thank been you great. very much. And yeah, this um, was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and thank <laughs> you, AC, for stopping me getting murdered repeatedly. Oh, yeah, and sorry, AC, for allowing you to die multiple times. Uh, yeah, apologies for that. I apologize in person after the stream. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully we can have you along another time, Paul. Otherwise, yeah, we well have um, um, hopefully. a whole uh, team of people. So. Oh, yeah, there, there's loads to go through. Yeah. So, so let us know um, if there's any particular discipline you'd love to see people uh, That's come a on good, stream from. That's a good chat. Yeah. And we'll do our best to try and convince them. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. it is voluntary. So. Yes, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, when is the next stream? Um, around a fortnight from now, I think, two weeks. Um, up until launch, we're probably going to do streams every two weeks, and then we'll start doing weekly after launch. I don't want to, as, as I've said in the stream earlier, I'm a little bit conscious about giving away too much. I want you, you folks to be able to enjoy it firsthand yourself. So, hmm. really, what you're seeing on the streams is kind of tidbits and me avoiding a lot of the real goodies because I, I don't want to spoil too hard. If you want to see that change and you really want me to show you, lots of stuff then i can maybe create some real like spoiler heavy content and flag it accordingly let me know but otherwise streams i'll always try and toe that line a little bit about not over showing let's say mm. until after launch in which case all the stops are off we'll do a full play play through the game and uh as well as all the cool upcoming stuff you don't expect to see after but yes, um, thank you everyone so much for joining. Again, thank you, Paul. Thank, thank you, you AC. Thank you to you folks for being here. And um, we'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.